prayer is trusting God to do the work. Prayer is you resting and you requesting and you are praying, asking God to do it. That's grace. Amen. That's why under the law in the Ten Commandments, there is no, there's no uh, thou shalt pray. Why? It's all, it's all uh, 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 supposing man's strength. You shall not, you shall not, you shall not. It doesn't say believe God and pray. Believe God and pray. Amen. It's under grace. So when you're under grace, the more you pray, the more you're under grace. Amen. You are li living literally under grace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So you pray for your child. Say, so Holy Spirit, you know how to pray for my child. You know how to pray for my husband. You know how to pray for my wife. Lord, I release it right now in Jesus' name. And just trust the Lord. Sometimes it gets more intense. Uh, you and your husband, may, you know, the, uh, you may, might get even into a warfare, but don't give up. When that happens, be encouraged. Amen. You know the warfare and the devil is like, having his final, you know, in, in the army, they call it the last burst of fire. Amen. He's fleeing. The enemy knows he's defeated. Amen. Because this is sort of the Spirit. He has no answer for it and you're wielding it. Amen. Through praying in the Spirit. Hallelujah. I believe God is teaching us that the sound of praying in tongues, the sound of praying in the Spirit will cause our spirit man to be open to all that God has for us to receive the gifts of the Spirit. Remember in John 7, it says, the Spirit was not yet given at that time because Jesus was not yet glorified. And in, in the book of Acts, it says that because the Father has glorified Jesus, He has shed forth the Holy Spirit. So the reason we receive the Holy Spirit is because Jesus has been glorified. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the name of Jesus. I feel like some of you are watching this. You say, Pastor Prince, pray for me that I, I, I may have this gift. Or you, you might just be saying, Pastor, I want more of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You can always be, be being filled with the Spirit. Amen. You cannot have more and more. Amen. Or, or static, you know. You, you can always have more. You can always have more. You cannot just say, Pastor Prince, uh, I had the Holy Spirit one time. I spoke in tongues, tongues one time. No. It's a continuous process. Amen. Keep on praying in the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Keep on praying, praying the Spirit. And you're wielding the sword. Amen. You are causing the glory of the Lord to shine out of you. Amen. Amen. For people to see that they might be drawn to Jesus by coming to you. They're not coming to you for you. They're coming to Jesus for the light that's shining on you. And then when you pray in the Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit will flow. Amen. And not only that, you're, you're walking in the firstborn blessings, inheritance. The firstborn inheritance. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Let me say this first. When, whenever people ask for praying in the tongues, the language of the praying, the Spirit and all that, they always wait for some power to overtake them. You know, God doesn't do that. That, in fact, that, that's how an evil spirit does, does to someone, okay? He takes, ov takes over. God will not take over. God wants cooperation. Amen. That's why being, if you are led by the Spirit, what does it mean? If I lead my child, if my child refuses to follow, he cannot be led. It's a cooperation. Amen. It's like a dance. Amen. As you're dancing and the Lord is hosting you in, in the dance, amen, He leads you follow. So the Lord wants cooperation. In other words, when, you, when I pray for you, you got to demonstrate your faith by speaking. All right? Don't, don't let your mind tell you it's just gibberish. You know? Just speak out. Those are elevated discourse. Amen. The, whole, the Bible tells us it is elevated discourse. Amen. It is words that the Holy Spirit is uttering before God and He cannot utter a useless word. He cannot utter a, a, a non-powerful word. He cannot utter an idle word. He is uttering words that are full of power and the Father appreciates. It's the sounds that make all the, the, the trees that grow luscious and green and the leaf will not wither and whatever you do will prosper. It's the sound of heaven. Amen. So believe that and open your mouth by faith. So right now in Jesus' name, whoever you are right now, believe when you ask for the Holy Spirit, you will not receive any other spirit. Amen. Say, Father, in Jesus' name, I receive right now the baptism of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Evidence by speaking in heavenly language. In Jesus' name. Now, friend, be filled with the Holy Spirit right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now start praying in the Spirit. Amen. 
You open your mouth and go like this. Sarabo paraba shantara. Yeah, go on. Pray in the spirit. Shakaraba baraba shantara bahaya. Oraba karama hanta. God will never take you over. Amen. I'm praying. I see. I'm, I can stop right now. I can start again. Shakaraba baraba hantara bahanta. The Holy Spirit is a wonderful person, a gentleman. He needs your cooperation. He will give you the words, but you speak it out. Shakaraba baraba mantokoro bahara bahan. Switch off your mind, your logic area for a while, and let your spirit take over. Let your mind play the subordinate role, okay? Don't allow him to dominate, amen. The mind, when it dominates, gives you a lot of problems. A lot of problems because your mind dominates. Go on, pray in the Spirit. Now sing in the Spirit. Beautiful, praise the name of Jesus. Now you can see, you can start anytime you want, you can stop anytime you want, you can increase your volume. When you're outside, you pray under tones, like muttering, meditating. As we learned just now, meditate is muttering. But instead of the book of the law, it is the words of the Spirit. And you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success.